All right, speaking about passionate fans, Craig Roberts visits now with some of those great Houston Dynamo fans and gets their opinion on what it's like to lose their stars during the regular season. Hey, it's Craig at uh, Robertson here right before the FC Dallas game. This, of course, is El Capitan, which is emblematic or symbolic of the uh, either Dallas or Houston that controls this series. And you've got to admit, it's a pretty unusual and pretty uh, cool trophy to have. And so far, Dallas hasn't uh, gotten a shot at this at all. Of course, uh, something that won't be staying in Houston, at least in the near future, will be Mr. Brian Ching and Ricardo Clark. Of course, they're going to play for the U.S. team internationally. And uh, uh, Dwayne De Rosario is already gone, having uh, already scored a goal for Canada uh, as they prepare for their cup play. So we thought we'd check out with the fans here how they like or dislike the fact that these players, if they come to see, suddenly disappear for weeks on end. It's not that they don't know about it because everyone who follows the sport knows this is just a fact of life. But on the other hand, it's still pretty unusual in the United States professional sporting venues. Personally, I think that the players should stick with their team. Uh, I mean, that's who they play with and that's who they get their recognition with and so they should uh, be recognized as a dynamo player and yeah. be allowed to play with the team. Do you think some of your customers will be bothered by that? I think so because they're coming out and they expect the same uh, roster and it, the, uh, it may affect the uh, the outcome of the of the playtime. You're probably used to that, right? Yeah, back home the, the Premier League would close down probably for two weeks when there's international matches on and the players would play the international and then come back again. So that's very similar to what happens with World Cup players. Yes, exactly. Oh yeah, it happens all the time. They, they, they stop, uh, I think it happens three times in the season those international matches and they just shut the league down. Uh, they start early in some countries as well so they can have a winter break and they play the internationals in that break. So you you sound like you're from East Texas, are you? I am from, uh, from uh, yeah, Nacogdoches, <laughs> East Texas. So after this game with FC Dallas, Ricardo Clark and Brian Ching will join the national team for the foreseeable future. But you know, that's just the way it goes in soccer. Everyone understands it. They get it. And let's face it, some other guys who don't normally get a lot of minutes will get some minutes as a result of this. It's difficult for us. But having said that, I think all the guys... Um, you know, want us to go and and do well and play well, and especially Dom, and he really gets behind us, and he understands that f for us the, <clears throat> the ultimate goal is to to represent your country and play for your national team, and and um, you know if you have success there, then hopefully you can bring that confidence back and and uh, continue to do well with uh, the the Dynamo. The bottom line, the toughest person that has to deal with all of this would be Dominic Kinnear, the coach. But he's well aware that this is how the game operates. For the Dynamo Soccer Report at Robertson Stadium, I'm Craig Roberts.